Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Steam Series. We've teamed up with the experts at Revamp Roofing to bring you everything you need to know to install standing seam. We will be releasing a new standing seam installation video weekly through the end of 2021. Check out our Standing Seam Installation Series playlist. Link in the description or subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. In this video, we'll cover how to square your panels. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. Prior to layout, underlayment should be installed onto your roof. In this demonstration, we have eave trim, gutters, and a receiving trim already installed. For step-by-step -step installation on these conditions and more, subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Not all roofs are squared. If you were to start laying out your panels, chances are your panels will start drifting off in an undesirable angle. An important first step is to chalk out a true squared reference line onto your roof. This will serve as a guide to ensure that your panels are going on straight. The best way to chalk this reference line is using a true right angle triangle. Based on the Pythagorean theorem, it's a simple method that uses a triangle that starts out with measurements of three out, four up, and five across. This formula will give you a true right triangle. For larger roofs, you can use any multiple of three, four, five measurements. For example, double the size would go six across, eight up, and 10 across. In our example, we'll be chalking out the three, four, five triangle in a multiple of four, 12 out, 16 up, 20 across. Start at the lower eave corner of your roof. Set a base point of at least 12 inches from the eave and gable ends. This will be your starting point, which we will refer to as your first mark. From your first mark, measure across the eave of your roof in your desired multiple of three. We are measuring 12 feet out. Make a mark at the intersection of your distance and 12 inches from the eave end of your roof. This will ensure the line is parallel to the eave. This will be referred to as your second mark. Going back to your first mark, measure upwards with a selected multiple of four. We are measuring 16 feet up. This will be your third mark. Going to your second mark at the eave, Measure towards your third mark and the desired multiple of five, where the two intersect will be your final mark. Snap a string line from your first mark to your final mark. This line will be the true perpendicular line to your eave. Constantly referencing this line while installing your panels will ensure that they are going on straight. It's recommended to create an additional guideline every eight to 10 feet from your first reference line. Simply measure across from the top and bottom of your original guide and snap a line between the two marks. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. for the next steps in installing standing seam? Check out these videos 